Welcome, my friends. Today, let's talk about something that affects us all at some point in our lives, comparison. We've all done it, haven't we? We look at others and measure ourselves against them. But what if I told you that this habit is the very thing holding you back from true peace and happiness? Let me share with you a story, a lesson, and a path to freedom from this endless cycle. Part 1. The Root of Comparison. When I was younger, living in a small village, I used to spend hours observing others. One man was more successful, another was more confident, and yet another seemed to have the perfect family. I felt inadequate. The more I looked outward, the smaller I felt inside. But what I didn't realize then, and what I have come to understand now, is that comparison is a thief of joy. It robs you of your present moment, your personal journey. You see, comparison is born from desire, our desire to be like others, to have what they have, or to achieve what they've achieved. We become so fixated on their path, we forget to honor our own. But every path is different. Yours is unique, and it's meant to be. Part 2. The Dangers of Comparison. Comparison can be subtle, like the gentle flow of this river, or it can be like a storm, overwhelming you. You might compare your career, your relationships, even your appearance. But when we do this, we are like someone standing by a river, hoping it will flow backward. We are chasing something impossible, a false version of ourselves shaped by others. Imagine standing by this river, constantly looking at others' reflections. How will you ever see your own? When you spend your time comparing, you neglect the beauty and value of who you are right now. And that's the key, your journey is meant to be embraced, not compared. Part 3. Embracing your own path. In the monastery, we often speak of, right view. This means seeing things as they truly are, without distortion. And this includes seeing yourself without the lens of comparison. Ask yourself, am I moving forward? Am I learning, growing, evolving in my own way? If the answer is yes, then that is enough. You are enough. Your value is not measured by how you stack up to others, but by how you continue to walk your path. Every step you take, no matter how small, brings you closer to your true self. But to take those steps, you must stop looking around and start looking within. Part 4. A New Perspective. Let me tell you another story. There was a monk, much like myself, who struggled with comparison. Every day, he looked at other monks who were more disciplined, more enlightened. He felt small, unworthy. One day, his teacher noticed his discontent and took him to the top of a mountain. The teacher asked him to look down at the village below. What do you see? The teacher asked. The monk replied, I see homes, people, paths winding in every direction. The teacher nodded and said, just as each path below is different, so too is every person's journey. No two lives are meant to be the same. That day, the young monk learned a valuable lesson, your journey is your own. The only person you should compare yourself to is who you were yesterday. If you can look back and see growth, you are on the right path. Part 5. Practical Steps for Letting Go of Comparison. So how do we break free from comparison? How do we shift our focus inward? Let me share a few steps that may help. 1. Practice gratitude. Each day, take a moment to reflect on what you have, rather than what others have. Gratitude will remind you of the abundance in your own life. 2. Mindfulness. When you find yourself comparing, pause. Notice it. Acknowledge the feeling, but don't judge it. Then, gently bring your focus back to your breath, back to the present moment. 3. Celebrate your own growth. Make it a habit to recognize your achievements, no matter how small. Remember, progress is progress, no matter the pace. 4. Limit exposure to comparison triggers. Whether it's social media or certain environments, be mindful of what triggers your tendency to compare. You have the power to step away. 5. Connect with your inner self. Spend time in silence. In solitude. It's in these moments that we hear the most valuable lessons, lessons from within. Part 6. Final Reflection. My dear friends, life is not a race, nor is it a competition. It's a journey, a deeply personal, unique experience. And every moment you spend comparing yourself to others is a moment lost from your own growth, your own peace. So, as you move forward, I encourage you to be kind to yourself. Celebrate your own path, trust your own process, and remember, you are enough, just as you are. Thank you for walking this part of your journey with me today. Until we meet again, be mindful, be present, and be at peace. 
Subscribe for more mindful lessons from the mindful path. If this message resonated with you, I invite you to subscribe and join our growing community of mindful seekers. Together, we can walk the path of self-discovery and inner peace. Share this video with someone who needs this reminder, and let's spread the wisdom of self-reflection and growth.